temperature coating. It's not paint, it's uh, made of graphite and linseed oil. You're going to mix it up and putting it on a steel locomotive smoke box and fire box. It's very good because it's heat resistant and easy to keep touched up and clean. And it, here we have the boiled linseed oil and some graphite. We're going to mix some up. All right, so we've got our graphite here. We've got a little mixing can. Got some more of the oil. Pour some in. Can't have a recipe. Is that fine enough, that graphite? Yeah, it's pretty fine. Here's my stir stick. I'm going to stir it around. Oh, sorry, girl. It's yeah, like Martha Stewart cooking. There you go. And we're gonna make it like I'm a thin. Snoop, I'm Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna make it like a thin pancake batter. Not too thick. Not too thin. Gonna need more, but that's basically the idea. All right, we're all mixed up, and I uh, pretty much have what I need. I'm gonna time lapse the next part because it's gonna be. Uh, quite a while and uh, all right meet you up top it took several small batches of graphite to do the job it wanted to go on fairly thin as it hasn't been previously graphited some black paint overspray even after scuffing it up was resisting the coating the boiler was warm but not hot which didn't help now during the next couple of days when it was steamed up the guys recoated the trouble areas and finished some of the areas that I didn't get to it worked out and the initial coat cured decently. A new coat of graphite next season should adhere much better and go on with much less fuss. Now let's say you don't have a steam locomotive laying around, you'd like to try this boiled linseed oil and graphite coating. Try a big steel burn barrel. You know the paint burns off, it looks rusty. This way you could coat it and it could give it that fresh brand new steel look. Ah, that's actually me with the engine I used to graphite in the early 90s, back when I had hair and it was a lot thinner. I'm taking it back to the shop at the end of the day, which was the perfect time to mix up a big batch of graphite that would go on and cure quickly to the hot surfaces. If you'd like to see more steam locomotive content, let me know in the comments. Feel free to like and subscribe, share, it's free and it helps the channel also. Thanks for stopping by the workshop. Until next time, take care. See you later.